Hey guys, welcome back to Guitar Lessons from Spain. I'm Miguel and today I'm going to show you everything you need to know about humidifying your guitar. But first, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to receive notifications. And if you like this video, consider buying me a cup of coffee. Most high quality guitars are built in workshops where the relative humidity is approximately 50%. The best way to store your guitar is between 40 to 70% humidity and anything below 40% is dangerous because if humidity falls below 40%, your fingerboard can shrink causing fret sprout and even more dangerous is below 30% because anything below 30% causes cracks and warping on your guitar. One of the first signs of an extremely dry guitar is fret sprout. What is fret sprout? Fret sprout happens when the fingerboard of the guitar shrinks and the tang of the fret sticks out. And if you run your finger across the neck of the guitar, it'll feel like train tracks and you'll have to have the frets file down. The best way to humidify your guitar is to use the Vivadio Humidipack. The Vivadio Humidipack is a two-way humidity control system that adds or subtracts moisture to maintain the humidity between 45 and 50 percent. So now I'm going to show you how to use the Vivadio Humidipack. You place one of these packs into either side of the saddle bag and then one goes into the headstock pouch. Place a saddle pouch between the third and fourth strings of the guitar so that the pouches hang inside the sound hole. The single headstock pouch goes underneath the headstock in your guitar case. You'll want to have a good quality hermetically sealed case. The rubber edge seal will help keep the humidity in and it will help make the humidity pack last longer. In the past, I've previously used the Oasis humidifier. I've also used the uh, the Vadio Acoustic Guitar Sound Hold humidifier, the one with the sponge inside. But I don't like those because you have to be constantly refilling them once a week, and then like the humidity inside your case, the moisture, the humidity inside your case isn't at a constant between 45 and 50. It can drop below. Uh, it can actually go higher. And what you want is a constant so that your instrument is actually safe. The other ones with the solvents, they can leak over your instrument and do damage to your French polish on your guitar or, you know, other parts on your guitar. Like I have streaks on my, my first concert guitar is permanently damaged because I had one of those with solvents that did leak on my instrument. And uh, with the Humidipack, it's sealed. It's sealed and it'll keep your guitar case and your guitar in like a constant between 45 and 50% humidity at all times. And it lasts about three to four months. It's really like they say, set it and forget it. You don't have to be constantly monitoring it. You should just in case. And um, when they're no good anymore, the packages, they get hard because they're usually like, they, they feel like gel packs when they're fine. And then as they tend to get past their expiration date, they become hard. And that's when you have to change them up. So the Dario says that to change them every three months, but usually I can get probably like about five months out of each one. The third thing you'll need is a hygrometer. A hygrometer is a device that's inside your guitar case that measures the humidity inside of the case. And uh, you can buy an analog one or you can buy a digital one. 
And uh, the Radio actually makes a digital one that's called the, the Radio Humidity and Temperature Sensor that retails for about $26.99. So you'll want to be checking it daily, even though you don't have to be checking the Humidipack daily, you can check just to make sure that you're at the correct levels between 50 or 45%. And you can do that when you practice. If you practice every day, just like me personally, I get up and I, when I practice, I open up the case and the first thing I do is check, the, check my hygrometer to make sure that it's fine, that it's not too dry or above because you want, you know, it's your instrument's valuable. You don't want to neglect your instrument and then bad things happen to it. So now you know my three tips on how to properly care for your guitar's humidity during this dry season. And if you found this video useful, consider buying me a cup of coffee. Thank you and happy practice.